Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 20 of my Minecraft ABP Let's Play series. So, today, 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 I'm currently working on getting my applied logistics system all around the base. I've got one over here, and I'm trying to get one over to the immersive engineering over area over here. Um, today I wanted to make a Yaucha slaughterhouse. That sounds fucking amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Once I get this done, um, I'm currently crafting a Yaucha mob spawner. Um, basically, what the idea the idea we're gonna go with is, we've grabbed a random Yaucha from the wild. We're gonna spawn multiple copies of him, and then we're gonna put him into something called a crusher from uh, immersive engineering, which is just this huge machine with giant fucking. <laughs> just really, it's it's a massive machine that just rips the shit out of mobs. So I want to do this uh, for two reasons. Number one, I hate the Yelcha. Uh, number two, I wouldn't mind getting a lot of the Yelcha technology because I need that to build my base under underground. It's the resources I need. So that is one of the, that's two of the reasons. Number three, I think Nanku will love it because. Um, He's a sadistic fuck just like me, so... Makes sense. <laughs> anyway. Um... Is this done? Can I... Yes? Maybe? Please work. Please work. Please work. It's not working. It's working! Whoop! Yeah, there we go. Awesome. I just need to move that. Anyway. Um, let me get a few things ready first. I'm gonna need to craft steel scaffolding, redstone engineering blocks, light engineering blocks, steel fences, and hoppers. I'm also gonna need power, uh, and I'm also going to need a place where I can put it. So, I think I might do it underground. Might be nice and safe out, uh, underground, because outside has been quite disturbing recently. <laughs> Even with the fence and the, and the turrets. Granted, it's not that many turrets, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, guys, I think we're just about ready to do this. Uh, by the way, this crushing machine can also be used for, um, where is it? It can also be used for multiplying ores as well. It turns them into dust. So that's what it's originally used for. But I've already got something that does that. So we're going to use this one for a slaughterhouse. <laughs> All right, cool. So, thank you, Cybercat, by the way, for telling me how to... I just quickly messaged her and asked her how to do the projector thingy. Um, so, I was right a few episodes back with the projector. It does work. Um, you just have to mix... You have to choose what you want in the engineer's manual. Um, so, for instance, I want this crusher, and then I'm just going to mix it with the projector in the um, crafting table, and I get a projector. See? And then I just right-click where I want it. So... I think I want it to round. There we go. Okay. Um. Ah, oh wait. I wanted it rotated as well. Ugh. See how how to rotate it. All right. So I'm not entirely sure how to rotate this projection. Um, I've checked the controls, but there is no controls for immersive engineering. So I guess we're just gonna have to stick with it like this. We'll see how it goes. Um. Anyway. Um. Actually, want you over a bit more. If I can't rotate you, I want you more over. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, so, first up, we're gonna need some uh, light engineering blocks, right here. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Sweet. Oh, I like this. Steel scaffolding. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so steel fences go here. Uh, more engineering blocks go here. Um, engineering block, engineering block, redstone thingy. And then the hoppers go up here. Oh, it's done. Okay, now we just need the um, engineer's hammer. Alright, awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just right clicked this here. Or is it the other one? Oh, there we go. Sweet! 
<laughs> okay, um, then I just think I should right click to get rid of this. Yep, that's cool. Now we have a crusher projector. I'm pretty sure I can change that at any time I want. And we got our book back as well. Sweet! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, now this thingy needs power. I'm pretty sure one of the little thingies over here is going give to us, give us power. It's over here, actually. Uh, that is the redstone control, I think. Yep. Um, that is the output, and that is the power. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I wasn't happy with the way it was, and I also figured out how to rotate it. I press uh, middle mouse click button, so boom, gets rotated. Sweet. Um, I also found out where you put the power in, which um, I wanted to change as well, because it looked ugly with the way I had it. So let me just rebuild this the correct way. And then I will be very happy. There we go. That's um, that's pretty much the way I wanted it. Cool. So power goes in over here. Put a connector and power line. Cool. Now this should work. Well, well, if I chuck something correct in there, like oh yeah, <laughs> and it should spit it out. Yeah, it's spitting out the. Um, we're getting gravel from it, which is it's meant to be going in here. <laughs> So, <laughs> here we go. Okay. Um, we're gonna want things. <laughs> I crafted. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, I'm never been so excited to com commit mass murder. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, don't quote me on that. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. So just for now, I'm going to use cobble, just for the main basis. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to use conveyor belts. Um, then we're also going to cover this area. Oh shit, I might need to work on a different power source. Or, you know, I could just do... Use my brains. Actually get rid of this one. Okay. Boom, and... Boom. Sweet. So... I mean, I can make this look even better, actually. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> I could connect these with the um, cables from Ender.io, but I really don't want to. Because I want to go all immersive engineering when I'm using the immersive engineering mod. Also, if somehow they get out, they get zapped. If they touch the wires. Cool. Whoa, I don't want to go in there. Jesus Christ. That's dangerous. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? I'll just uh, just do this. There we go. Cool. Um, then... Those conveyor belts should move mobs along as well. Why are you not falling all the way in, though? That's irritating. That's really irritating. Wait, I got an idea. Maybe it just needs to be a bit, bit needs to be a bit higher. God damn it! You know what we need to do to actually test this properly? We need to grab um, a mob. We need to grab a mob. So what we're gonna do is, because we don't have the ultra spawner set up yet, I'm gonna get an empty soul vial. I'm going to see if this thing's ready to spawn some Endermen. Yep. Boom. You guys stay in there, please. Let's see. Nope. Okay. It needs to be a little bit more, so... Okay. Let's try it now.
<laughs> nice. I thought the thing would actually, like, crush properly when it goes in there. Like, unless I'm mistaken. Interesting. Nevertheless, we've got it working. Alright, so now we just place some conveyor belts. Cool. Then, do the sides like this. Once again, I'm going to make this look nice. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, in between episodes, I did the roof over here. What do you guys think? Like, I, I used chisel and bits, and I figured out, like, really neat ways to use chisel and bits. There's this thing you can make called... Yeah, um, positive chisel design. It allows you to copy entire blocks made out of chisel. Then, granted, you have the chisel and bits in your chisel bag or on your invent or in your inventory. It allows you to like copy paste things, like blocks, which makes for mass, like makes for making huge designs a lot easier. If that makes any sense, it makes things a lot easier, basically. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description to a little time-lapse of me doing that. Um, if I remember. Hopefully I remember. Okay. So, now we just need the Yelcha spawner. Which just requires a bunch of levels. Bam, and bam. Nope, that's not it. There we go. This will spawn Yalcha. Um, I got an idea. Okay, because this range is going to be pretty big on where they're going to spawn. Do you guys shut up? Um, I'm going to do this. So, show range. It's a pretty big range. Um, we're going to need to cover up most of this range. If not all. To prevent them from spawning in these areas. Because I just want them to spawn inside the room that drops them in. Ow! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, there's going to be glass here. And it's all going to be made out of this... Probably the shipwreck that I'm using. Um... But for the purposes of getting this working so you guys can possibly follow along if I'm not going too fast or if I'm explaining things correctly. Alright. Okay, so a few more conveyor belts um, and we should be good. Let's get rid of this range now. Okay, a few more. Uh, there's also another thing we can use called fans from the um, extra utilities mod. Granted, they are is still in it. They are probably not in it. I'm making myself look like a liar. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? You know what? I am gonna make this look nice, and I can do it really fast. Well, not not finished nice, but semi nice. Okay, I'm actually out of Yelcha artifacts, I think, which is even more reason to be building this. So I can't make any more Yelcha themed items. So, essentially, what's going to happen here is once I give this thing power, so this thing should be start spawning. It's going to spawn any moment now. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what? Why you no work? How could you? 
you not getting the power? Okay, they're not... I think... What's going on? Oh, this thing's taking all the power, I think. That's why. There we go. I might need to make a separate power source for the crusher down here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes! Let's turn off my magnet. Alright, why are you guys being really annoying? Is this not got enough power? What's going on? Let me, um, let me disable this. Ow. So, like, are you guys being really annoying? Because, like, what's the deal? Like, do you guys need to, f like, fall right in the middle? Is that what's, is that, is that what's going on? I have an idea. I have another idea. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, buddy. I need you for a second. Thank you. Ah! No! Where'd you go? Shit! Number seven! Come back. Okay. You saw... You saw what I was trying to do. It worked. <laughs> so I just need to put a bait there. I need to put bait here. <laughs> um... So, just some sort of bait needs to go here. Or something of the sort. Or I'll just put more conveyor belts. You know what? Because I want to be able to watch this happen, so I don't exactly want bait there. But then again, I could put him underneath the ground. So... It's working! I just don't want subject seven, um, or number seven. Oh, okay, yeah, by the way, I'm still reading all the uh, comments are still coming in on that video. Still haven't decided if we want it to be subject seven or number seven, but so far, number seven. I think I'm, I am gonna need bait here. So, I'm gonna need another xenomorph. Um, around here, I think. And then I can just put glass onto here. Name this one, bait. <laughs> Cool. Um, then I'd get glass. Let's actually go look for one real quick. They spawn constantly. It's okay. It won't take long. It's also nighttime, so win win. Oh, hello. No, luckily today you can stay there. I'm just kidding. You're not going to stay there. I'm going to kill you. Ow. There's one. Come here, you little shit. There we go. Ah, tornado. I'm pretty sure I can just name this guy through here. Bait. Um, then... Underground facility. Glass. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> it mostly works. <laughs> did you get named bait? Nope, you did not. That doesn't work. Okay, so I've actually got to put a name tag on him. Sweet. Um, I want this to work properly, so... Okay, so right now I'm showing you guys the hitbox on the Yaucha. So to do this, you press hold F3 and press B, and you can disable it or enable it. F3 and B. So he does look like he is one block. He's one block. He should be able to fit through a one block area. So in theory, in theory. In theory. Big word. Theory. 
He should fall through there, but he's not. That's irritating. Maybe... No. Stop. Are you just getting triggered because of this thing? Is that why? Okay. So, it looks like his hitbox can fit through a uh, one wide area, but apparently it doesn't. Which is a problem. Okay. I think we're going to try use fan using fans from the open blocks mod. These might be a better solution to our problem than the conveyor belt. So, if the way fans work... As you place them down, and then you can rotate them like that. Now, it's been a while since I've used um, fans in any sort of mod. I think Extra Utilities used to have it, or was it Open Blocks? I don't know. Can't remember. Anyway, um, I think these might need a redstone signal. Yep. And they just push. They push in the direction you're looking at. So, as you can see, all the fucking hitboxes are showing now. I just let me disable that. There we go. So instead of conveyor belts here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just have another fan over there. Um Okay. <laughs> So now these two fans will push any mobs in there towards the middle. Um, we also might want another, another fan. Um, right here. Okay, now the problem is... <laughs> we've got another problem now. The fan, that fan is pushing them too far to over here. God damn it. I think this is working now. <laughs> okay, so this is going to need a lot of tweaking. <laughs> I could be doing this all day, trying to figure out the most efficient way to do this. Um, but, I mean, I'm probably going to try to replace all the conveyor belts with fans. I mean, we could go with other methods as well. We're going to see how it goes, though. We're going to add some more fans. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is going to be a, quite a bit of tweaking, but you get the main point, right? You get the main point? We have a Yelcha slaughterhouse, okay? So they all just go into the fucking crusher here, and they all die. It's beautiful. Maybe we should automate um, dropping items in so it looks like they're being crushed as well. With a dropper or something. Get in there, bitch. Get in there. Oh, God! Should probably replace that power line. Okay, it is a new day. I decided to actually not finish the episode. I mean, I didn't completely edit it yet. But, yeah, we finished it. It still looks ugly. But, once again, the main premise is that it works and it's functional. Um, I do want to make it look nice with chisel and bits. Like, I did the roof. I still got to work on all these rooms. Um, I'll probably do time lapses, and uh, I'll link them in the descriptions um, as unlisted videos if you want to see them. But, essentially... Boop! Mm -hmm. Come on. I also made a dropper drop something in there so it actually rotates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes it look, look a little bit more immersive. It works. Also, even though I disabled my magnet, um, the crusher has problems picking up the items from these mobs. Uh, I assume it's probably an AVP issue. Or, uh, like, an in like an incompatibility between the two mods. But, I mean, honestly, I don't care. Because I just sit here with my magnet on and it picks it all up anyway. 
Um, also, if I really wanted to, I could put a vacuum hopper um, inside there with a chest. Because I think what happens is the items don't go through the thingy here. They, 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 they just drop, like, they just drop from the Yelcha when he dies. So, yeah. Also. Also. Adiós.